Hello everyone! In the previous video we created Walking Zombie. In this video we will make him attack this cute little girl when distance is enough for hitting. So first let's add a box collider to the girl to detect collisions. Mark it as a trigger and edit it like so. Then right click on Zombie and create new empty child game object and let's name it as a hand. Right click Zombie again and create another one empty child. It will be attack check game object that will detect if distance is enough for attack. Let's position hand game object somewhere in front of the zombie, like that. And now let's add a collider to hand that will do damage to our little girl later. Edit it a bit. Here it is. Also let's add a circle collider to attack checker and edit it. It will help us to detect if zombie can attack a target. Here we go. Don't forget to set it as a trigger. Hand collider should be a trigger as well. Now let's create attack animation for zombie. Select Zombie Game Object, go to Animation window and create a new animation clip here. I name it Zombie Attack Anim. Select all of the sprites responsible for attack state and drag and drop them into timeline. Set number of samples to 15 to slow animation down. Hit Enter to apply the change. Now hit Record button, select Hand Game Object, make sure that timeline marker is at zero frame and disable Hands Collider. Slide marker to frame number 2 and enable Hands Collider back. Slide marker to frame 6 and disable it again. Now this collider is enabled only during 4 frames and damage will be given only when attack animation is running. Hit record button to stop recording. To trigger attack animation we will use attack script. Here it is pretty simple. In on trigger enter 2D method we check if attack checkers collider enters girls collider and if it does then we set as attacking boolean variable in zombie script to true. And if attack checkers collider exits girls collider, then is attacking is set to false in on trigger exit to the method. This script must be added to attack checkers game object. Like that. Now let's see what's new in zombie script. First of all, here is is attacking variable accessible from attack script. And here is animator component, which we get in start method. Also here is new block of code in update method that switch animation states, setting is attacking parameter as true or false, which we will add into animator in a moment. Then instead of just passing velocity to zombie's rigid body, we check if zombie isn't in attack state, and if it isn't, then zombie moves. If zombie is attacking, then it should be standing still. These are all of the changes here. Now let's add is attacking parameter to zombie's animator component to make animation transitions possible. Select zombie, go to animator window. Here are our animations. Add new boolean parameter, hitting plus here. Name it as is attacking. Letter casing is important. Now right click on walking state and make a transition to attack state. Left click this arrow and create new condition for transition to take place. That will be if is attacking is true. Uncheck has exit time, so transition will occur instantly. And set has exit time to zero. Right click attack animation and create transition back to walking state. Left click this new transition. Condition will be if is attacking is false. Uncheck has exit time. Transition duration is zero as well. That's it. Now we can hit play and see how it works. Zombie walks and hits a character. And for example, if we disable Girls Collider while Zombie is hitting her, then Zombie stops attacking and continues to walk. In the next video, we will give this girl a health bar that will be reduced when Zombie attacks our character. Well, see you there, goodbye.